Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to see how we can recover accidentally deleted mailbox from our exchange server. And also we will see how we can assign a mailbox to a different user if an Active Directory user is deleted by mistake. And all that will be performed without touching a backup. So let's jump to the server and see how that can be performed. So now we are on our server and I have a two virtual machine here that is exchange and the another one is DC. So let's have a look over the DC first and I want to explain you a bit about like what is the difference between deleting a mailbox and removing a mailbox. So here we have a sales organization and here we have a three users like Ron, Peter and James and inside the help desk I have a user Jack. So what we are going to do, we will be disabling a mailbox for Ron. That means that disabling means if we disable a mailbox, the mailbox is disabled and the Active Directory user is there. Only the exchange attributes are removed from the Active Directory user and the mailbox is marked for the deletion. But if we remove the mailbox, that means a mailbox will be marked for the deletion and the user will also be deleted like the active directory user will also be deleted so that is the difference so what we are doing here first I will disable a RON and we will see if active directory user is there or not and another way I will remove the mailbox for Peter and we will check like Peter is there like active directory user is there or not so let's go to our exchange server now now here you can see the mailbox like James, Peter, Ron, Jack, Administrator. So let's go to our Exchange Management shell and I will type like get mailbox Ron. Here's the name for the Ron. It's an alias and the server name is Exchange. And what I will do here, I will disable the mailbox for Ron. Disable mailbox. So this will be disabling a mailbox for Ron and let's see at the back side you can see here Ron is there present there right now Ron is there and if I will disable it here let's see you can see it's asking to confirm and uh, I'll type yes and it's executed successfully now uh, if I refresh this now you can see the Ron is gone the mailbox for the RON is disabled now and if we go to our Active Directory if I refresh here the RON is still present here let's go to the exchange server again now I'm going to remove Peter mailbox so let's type get mailbox Peter and now I am removing this mailbox remove mailbox for Peter let hit enter it says yes so in the above command this is a disable mailbox that means the exchange attributes are removed from user RON the active directory user is still there but the removing mailbox means inside the sales organization it will remove the Active Directory user object and mark mark the archive for the removal like if there is an archive as well it will remove it so now the both the users are not able to access their mailbox like one user is gone from the Active Directory as well let's have a look on Active Directory user that is Peter uh, right now Peter is there and I if I refresh it that means removing a mailbox means the Active Directory user is also deleted so by accidentally if somehow you uh, delete or you remove the mailbox or you delete the mailbox like uh, the mailbox is disabled so how you can recover them without touching a backup so let's proceed with our steps and first of all let's have a look like if our user Ron is able to log into his mail or not let me try to log in with uh, Ron
it says something went wrong so how we can recover as you know that there is a retention period of a 30 days so within a 30 days you can recover your mailbox without touching a backup so let's proceed with a recovery process how we can recover that in order to recover the mailbox for Ron we have to type the command like connect mailbox identity the user is Ron database the database name is mbtb1 user is Ron there is some error yes there is an issue with the there is a, some spelling mistake it's identity let's enter it now let's see if the Ron is back or not the mailbox for the Ron is back or not let me refresh it and now you can see the Ron is back and try let's try to log in let me set it and you can see the username here it is Ron so now the mailbox for the Ron is restored what we can do for uh, Peter the Active Directory user is deleted so what we can do the mailbox for a Peter can be assigned for a different user so I will try to assign a Peter's mailbox to a user Jack in order to restore the user Peter mailbox what we will have to do we will have to identify the GUID for the mailbox for a Peter so if you want to find that GUID we have to run this command and we will try to find out the GUID for Peter mailbox so here is a GUID for a mailbox GUID for the Peter the user is Peter I ran this command because I have a less number of user so it will work here and I will just copy this GUID it is required now we will run a another command that is a new mailbox restore request so let's copy the GUID this is a GUID for a Peter user and I'll replace the GUID from here and we'll put the GUID for the Peter like source store mailbox is a Peter's mailbox GUID source database is MBDB1 target mailbox for the Jack like this mailbox will be restored inside a Jack mailbox so let's try to run this command now it says like it has been queued the status is queued and in order to check uh, the statistics of the move request we can run another command to check that in order to check the statistics of the mailbox we can run this command like get mailbox restore request and get mailbox restore request statistics so that we can check like mailbox is completed successfully that means and now the Peter mailbox has been assigned to a jack so let's go to the over exchange I will just log into a jack mailbox right now it is a Ron and let's log into a jack here's a mailbox for a jack and here you can see the restore if I go to the inbox it's a Peter's mailbox so in case the Active Directory user is deleted still you can restore the mailbox and the, you can assign that mailbox to a different Active Directory user so guys if you found the video useful please give it a like and do subscribe the channel for more upcoming updated videos 
and in our next video we will see how we can recover our exchange server with a recovery switch. So let's meet in the next video.